with a lot of new renewed interest in watches, people like to be able to change the look of their watch. And at Adina, we've never really got into the quick release lugs at the back of a leather band. We don't really go from because they can catch on your skin a little bit and they can be a little softer in the wear of a watch. We've always preferred a spring lug that is a shouldered spring lug that goes the entire length. And when I talk about a spring lug, that's the apparatus that goes inside the band that attaches the band to the case, but has the ability to be changed out. So today I'm gonna to go and show you how we take our leather band on and off again, one of our dress models. The first thing you're gonna to have to do is turn it over so you can get a nice clear view of the back of the case and where the lug is. Now, because I'm getting old, I'm gonna look really professionally and, and whack my eyeglass in so I can see what I'm doing. In behind, and I've got myself a green screwdriver which has got a nice broad blade. Some people have a fork tool that they can get in over the top of a spring lug. But I've spent many, many, many hours on the banding bench over the last 53 years. And um, today, I feel pretty confident that I can get in behind the shoulder of the spring lug, which is just here like that and then just release the spring lug and you'll see with that spring lug and it's got a little bouncing end, hence why it's called a spring lug. You can see how easy they come out, but everything's easy when you know how. And the other way to put it back in, put your foot finger on the top of the spring lug like that, then place in one side of the hole, then holding it away, you'll notice that I wanna keep the spring lug off the back of the case lug because you don't wanna scratch it as you go in and then it's just a matter of getting it in underneath that case lug, like that, and there. It's all about how you hold your tongue, and with that, you now know how to change a leather band on an Adina watch.